One New Zealand business steeped in tradition is blooming after COVID-19 forced it to grow its online presence. Flower markets are usually an up-close sensory experience at the crack of dawn at an auction, but lockdown saw one flower marketplace ramp up development of live-streamed auctions. So buyers can view, bid and buy from around the country without getting out of their PJs or even bed. The United Flower Growers Auctions in Wellington, Auckland and Christchurch sell more than 50 million stems and bouquets a year and post-COVID, 40% of those sales are virtual. I asked CEO Tony, Tony Hayes how you inspect the goods long distance. Where we're quite different to other parts of the world that do auctions is that we, we do exactly that, we live stream. So the product that comes through on a trolley, um, whilst those on site have got the advantage of being able to walk all those trolleys outside the auction before the auction starts, those on the cloud obviously can't. That's because they're buying from their houses or their kitchen. But what we're able to provide them is as we're processing each bucket or box on each trolley as it goes through the auction, we physically take a sample stem or a sample bunch out of the box and um, put that head quite close to the camera instantaneously those buyers online can see through that camera the quality of the head, the quality of the petals, the actual colour um, so that they can buy with some assurance. So effectively what we're trying to do is give the cloud buyers the same or similar experience to those that are on site. So it's a reverse auction. The price goes down, right? And at a point Correct. someone wants to purchase, they jump in. So if you're Correct. purchasing remotely, what do you do? Just push a button on the computer? Yeah, effectively, uh, those that are at home or at their offices uh, or in their businesses, they get to see the same thing on their screen, on their PC, that the buyers on site see in the main auction hall. It's exactly the same. They see the clock, they see the live live video feed, um, and they see the upcoming trolleys, what's coming next. Exactly the same as what an on-site buyer would see if they're physically sitting on site. What percentage of your buyers would be purchasing online, do you reckon? I would say around the 40% mark, um, and that's actually high because uh, what we're finding now is that there's a high degree of comfort around our cloud platform now, uh, given the fact that the industry was forced to, to choose to use that at a time that was difficult for everybody. Um, and because they're more comfortable in using that, clearly they're comfortable in continuing to use that. Tony, a flower market, there's a sort of charm about it, right? And, well... You don't get to smell the roses or any other flower this way, do you? So is part of the charm is part of the charm kind of gone and also part of the quality control because isn't perfume and smell one of the senses you might use to choose your flowers? Yeah. Well I actually think the the quality side is actually still there, it's unchanged. You know, it's our job being a service provider uh, to ensure that the quality that we have on the floor, whether it's someone who's actually on site buying or someone that's on the cloud, um, you know, our principle is to make sure that they get the same quality irrespective. So that's down to us to perform that perform that task. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's also down to the growers who provide the product too. Um, and in part, the majority would provide, you know, excellent quality flowers. Um, but it, when it comes to the, the colour and the, the smell, of course, being online, you don't get to be as close to the product as you would do at an auction. But remembering we're not forcing people to buy online. They do that through choice. So I would suspect that somewhere in the mix of that decision psyche is the fact that they're comfortable with the quality um, and what they come to expect from our growers and through UFG, that they're comfortable enough to continue to choose to buy online. So, Tony, what's a good deal at the moment if you're shopping for flowers? I think everything's a good deal because it comes down to what you perceive as being oh, good pick, value. Pick your favourite child, Tony. What's a oh, good deal? My, mine is actually, um, I, I go for my standard roses. There's nothing like a rose. Um, but close behind that, I actually like tulips, even though they're just out of season now. Lilies. How long should a good bunch of flowers last? Well, domestic product, it depends on the product itself. But, you know, you, you want a few days, if not weeks. Um, so, But that's down to, to us to actually vase test which we do um, on, a, on a fairly frequent basis because we want to make sure that the product that's supplied to market does actually hold up um, and it does have value represented in terms of shelf life. And that's Tony Hayes from United Flower Growers there.